Let us know that 
Yes. You could be on your last breath of your dying bed. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. 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 And repent. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah. And you will remain in paradise. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. My name is Tamika, and I come before you this morning from the book of Mark 15 and 34. Amen. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. Which is interpreted as, my God, my God, yes. why hast thou forsaken me? Yes. Yes. If I was to give a subject today, it would be, let's keep it real. Yes. Yes. Jesus also fulfilled this prophetic statement of Psalms 21, 22 and 1, I'm sorry. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why, do you, why are you so far from saving me? So I know that in today's time, I would not have been able to endure what Jesus did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being beaten and struck, I would automatically want to hit back, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm nervous. I had notes, and then my notes wasn't working for me. I was prepared for this word because I know that I've been forsaken, at least I felt like I had. So I had my stuff all written out like, yeah. My birth mother was murdered when I was five. Uh, and I've gone through some trials and tribulations, but that's not what he had for me today. Uh, I had to think about the times that I had cried out to God yes, when I yes. felt forsaken, but it, really I was crying out because I had forsaken others. Uh, so I don't want you guys to forget that dash between your birth date and your death date means a whole lot. Oh, yeah. you your life. Yeah. So I'm going to bring it on back just a little bit. When Jesus cried out, he was in human form. Yeah. So that means he felt what we have felt. And at that point, I would have given up. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. He still died for our sins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know a man like him. Uh, Do you understand what I'm saying today? Mm -hmm. So what I come for you in my five minutes trying to make it into seven <laughs> is that uh, I want you to make a difference in your life. Uh, make sure that those that come to you, you bring them closer to God. Because mm -hmm. we are in our last days. Yeah. Yeah. And he's given us a chance. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not going to make it, but I want to be one of those that can. Uh, so if there's anybody that I could bring with me, come on, let's take this ride together. Right. Uh, not every day is a good day, but not every day is a bad day. Uh, My eyes have been opened, and I take every situation that I am in and turn it into something positive. Uh, no matter what the enemy uses it for. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel good standing up. I always want to unveil and get real and let y'all know how I'm truly feeling. So I thank you guys for embracing me, Pastor for teaching me, Pastor for always answering for me. Valerie, I thank you and I love you. But together we will do this. All right? Jesus has made us again for us and let's keep it going in Jesus' name. Well, I guess I'm going to look like only nerd with all the nooks and faces today. <laughs> Oh, praise God, praise God. My name is Valerie Akam. I was a wretched sinner. God saved me by grace. I'm here to the words of God of, of Christ on the, on the cross. It comes from John 19, 26 to 27. Now, this account is not found in any other gospel. Because John didn't waste his time talking about his earthly lineage. He went straight to his relationship and his lineages to God. Remember, it said, the first one, the word was, in the beginning, the word was God. Yes. yes. Just take a look at, 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 at John. That's what, but what the scripture says is, when Jesus saw his mother and the disciple who he loved standing by, he said to his mother, woman, behold thy son. Mm -hmm. yes. And then he said to his disciple, behold your mother. Yeah. Yeah. And from that hour, mm -hmm. yes. that disciple took her to his home, his own home. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, like she said, I had a topic, third, I would call it family and the blessing of the second son. Okay, give me a minute, give me a minute, let me work it out. Now we're looking at Jesus at his hardest moment as a man. Yeah. The first son of Mary. Why? Because Jesus said in Matthew 5, 17, do not think I came to destroy the law of the, or the prophets. Mm -hmm. I did not come to destroy, mm -hmm. but to fulfill. Yes. 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 But what did Jesus come to fulfill? Mm -hmm. The Father's wishes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ephesians 1 and 5, God proclaimed, just as he chose us before him in the foundations of the world, that, he should, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption 
Yes. Yeah. As sons by Jesus Christ to himself, yeah. according to his good pleasure of his will. Mm -hmm. So this is God's wish. Yes. 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 So back in the Old Testament, God said, let us make men in our own image, uh -huh. according to his, according to our likeness, uh -huh. let them have dominion uh -huh. over the fish in the sea, yes. over the birds in the air, yes. over the cattle, yes. over the earth, over every creeping thing that's on the earth. Yes. And that's in Genesis 1.26. Yeah. God blessed them and wanted them to be fruitful and multiply. Yeah, yeah. Just like we want for our children, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. God built him a family. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But something went wrong. Yeah. Yeah. They lost the meaning. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yet while on the cross for us, Jesus still realized his earthly duty to his mother as her firstborn son. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. He did not hear about, we don't hear about Joseph after we saw Jesus left and found in the temple uh -huh. doing God's work prematurely. Yeah. Yeah. So we can assume that Joseph is dead now that she's a, that she's a widow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at that point, it's the responsibility of him to take care of his mom. Yeah, yeah he has other brothers. It says in Matthew 13, 55b, he has James and hosted some sort of form of Joseph, Simon, Simon and Judas. But where are they? Yeah. Ah. Then there's the disciple who Jesus, Jesus loves, John, mm. yes. also standing there mm. in his grief. Mm. Mm -hmm. Who is John? Mm. Mm. It is believed he's one of Zebedee's boys. Mm -hmm. James and John's are brothers. Mm. And their mother, Simon, became a believer in Jesus. Mm -hmm. She may have been one of Mary's um, sisters, you know, the mother of Jesus might be one of his first sisters. Again, family. Mm, I like that word, family. Mm. It is thought that James was the eldest, so the key of his mom would fall to him, but, you know, we don't know if Solomon was a, a widow or not. We don't know that. At least I don't know that. Some of you scholars might know. But Jesus had already established a new family. So you remember in Matthew 12, 46, when the first family, when his first family came and desired to call him away, and he proclaimed in Matthew 12, 49 and 50, and in Mark 3, 33, yeah. that his family was already present. Yeah. Yeah. Here is my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother, yeah. my sister, yeah. and my mother. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I kind of set it up for you, okay? Yep. So now let's go back to the scene. Mm, uh -huh. Jesus is on the cross. Uh -huh. yes. Fully man. Yes. Fully God. Yes. Yes. At this moment, experiences everything is punishment for the sins of mankind. Uh -huh. Only as he can. Mm. He looks down from the cross. Mm. In John 19, 25, he's there stood at the cross. His mm. mother and his mother's sister, Mary Magdalene, the wife of Cleopas. Mm. And he sees his mother. Yep. Now remember, he's hurt. He's, he's been bruised. Yeah. Yes. But he sees her in all her pain and her anguish. He sees her watch her treasure, her love, her joy, her assignment being absolutely destroyed. Yes. Her sisters are there, but we're her children. He's still looking and he sees John, the disciple he loves. But wait, he had three homies. Uh, Peter, James, and John, right? Where's, where's um, James and John? I mean, Peter and James. <laughs> we know what John is. Although he sees the pain in John, this disciple followed him through it all. He was present. And it's, it's kind of thought that he didn't run like the others. And unlike Peter, he actually went into the house of the high priest. Yes. And he actually did some willing and dealing and called on the servant. People kind of let Peter in the courtyard. But you know, Peter messed that up. He got in trouble. Yeah. And then um, he followed him to the hall of judgment when they presented Jesus to Pilate. Yeah. He was with him all the way. So Jesus, in his agony, looked down at his earthly form and said, woman, behold your son. Behold my provision for you. Behold my comfort for you. Behold my extension of family to you. The one who believes as we believe. The one who understands the promise God gave. Yes, yes. Now, this wasn't easy because he, they had whipped him and his back was raw. Go ahead. Jesus had to lift up on those nails in his feet yes. and expand that diaphragm with that bruise and bleeding back to other words. Yes. Then with the 
next breath, he did it again. He looked at the disciple and said, behold your mother. Now we always think, we see it, he goes, woman, behold your son and behold your mother. No, he was hurting. Probably was going like this. Giving him the responsibility of the firstborn son mm. and a new family. Mm. He helped them live through the pain and pushed on to their future because Jesus had an assignment. Mm -hmm. Mary took, John took Mary to his home that very hour. Mm. Now that's not the end of the story. And I'm sorry I'm over seven minutes, but please let me have grace and finish the okay. story. Yeah, 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 yeah. His mother is secure and safe from the crowd, so she couldn't molest, they couldn't molest her. You know, say, you the mother, and they couldn't bother her. Mm -hmm. And he's under the protection of John. Mm -hmm. Her future is bright. Mm -hmm. She can share her love for her son that is about to become her savior with her new son. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now the transformation of Jesus begins. Yes. Making him mm -hmm. mankind's second son. He is going through all this for us. He is the second Adam. He is going to redeem mankind to the Father for the penalty of death for our sins. Jesus set up statements blessing the blessings of the second son. The Bible is full of second son blessing. The blessing didn't fall on Cain, but on Abel. The blessing didn't fall on Zareth, known as Brightness, but on Perez. That was Tamar, Tamar's um, twin boys. The blessing did not fall on Ishmael, but it fell on Isaac. Uh -huh. The blessing didn't fall on Esau, but it fell on Jacob. Uh -huh. The blessing started with Adam, mm -hmm. but then he lost dominion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus is mankind's second son. Yes. Earth, behold your son, Hebrews 10, 7. I said, behold, I have come. In the volume of the book, it is written of me to do your will, O God. Yeah. And then he says, behold, I have come to do your will, O God. It takes me... It takes away the first that he may establish the second. This is found in Hebrews 10, 9. Man broke protocol and lost dominion. So it was a man that needed to fix it. Therefore, Jesus regains dominion. In Hebrews 10, 10, by that will we have been sacrificed through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. So he did it once, all is over, done. We can be established the godly family through worship, fellowship, discipleship, ministry. John 7, 17, 20 and 23 says, I do not pray for these alone. So he wasn't just praying for those that were there at the time, but also for those who will believe in me through their word. Yes. Yeah. That they all may be one as yes. you, Father, are in me. Yes. And in I in you. Yes. You gave me that I have given them. Yes. And Oh, that they may also be one in us, and that the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you gave me, I gave them, and they may be one, just as we are one. Yes. And I in them, and you in me, yes. that they may be perfect in one. Yes. And the world may know that you have sent me, and love me, as you have loved, you have loved me. Yes. We can take back the seven pillars of influence. Business, government, media, entertainment, and arts, education, family, and religion. Okay, I know I said a lot, and I'm not good at this, so I'm going to summarize it real quick. One, Jesus sees us. He saw us Mary's broken heart, but he also sees our level of commitment. Is our heart broken enough for those that don't know him to be committed to share that with them? God, Jesus protects us. The crowd won't know her. He just said woman, but, they, but the people important knew who he was talking about. He sent the covering, but God gives us security also. He calls you woman. He calls you man. He told you, I've got my protection around you. Jesus provides for all of us. Family doesn't always do right by us. Her hope, her love gone. God has a plan. As long as you are awake and breathing and have breath, God has a purpose and a plan for you. And the fourth one, and I couldn't quite get this when I was thinking it, but it says to act quick. John took her away from the scene within the hour, so she didn't have to see all that the clamor that happened after the day he died. But how quickly do we obey? Wow. Hold on to your dominion and your power in God. Yeah. In Acts 17, 28, for in him we live, we move, and we have our being. Yeah. As also some of our own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. Yeah. Embrace your spirit, delight your spirit, do twice as much as Elijah. 
for we are promised our latter will be greater than our past. Thanks, yeah. Ricky Saxton. I'm Deacon and one Lord. Just wanted to let you know I'm coming from Luke 23 and 46. It says, and when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said this, he gave up the ghost. So it's, it's, it's pretty deep to me, like people were saying before, that he's put on his cross. He didn't necessarily know what he was getting into. And as Pastor said a couple weeks ago, everybody's kind of been here in spirit. You were in heaven with your, with your father. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Before your mother, your father, or whomever known you were going to be here. Yeah, 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 that's true. So basically, to me, if we're there and you're in paradise, and then he allows you to go down to earth to, to, to look at these people, Jesus just went and was being obedient. Yeah, yeah, man. Even though he knew not what he was getting into. Mm -hmm. So for all the people to go against him, you know, betray him and whatnot, mm -hmm. I look at that to say, Lord, I commend my spirit into your hands. Yeah. It kind of makes you think about like childhood kind of. So yeah. you got your parents, right? right? As a kid, they're one, two, they fall off their bike, who the first person they look for? Yeah. Mom and yeah. dad. But they're crying out to them. Yeah. yeah. So give me a second, sir. <laughs> so they're they're crying out to them yep. and looking at, up at them. And we look up mm -hmm. to Jesus the God, correct? Yeah. 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 As we are in one Lord. Yes. So and doing that is, is kind of significant that okay, as kids we can cry and we know exactly who to go to, but you yeah. don't know anything. Mm, you're a kid. You don't know you're not supposed to touch the stove. You don't know you're supposed to grow up pay bills. You're just a kid that's here. No. Unless you automatically know you got two people to look up to. Yeah. And then in them being obedient by teaching you and showing you the right and wrong things, you have this trust in them. Yeah. Yeah. So although it's not like Bella just said, family can, you know, be deceiving, treat you wrong, but and a kid that don't know anything is looking up at their family and they have that security blanket. Yes. So that's what Jesus and God is for us. Yeah. 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 So even yeah. though God was his father, yes. he still was obedient, went down and did what he needed to do. Yeah. Yeah. And cried out unto him as you were speaking last week, you got like a little cry and then you got a big cry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 If you think about kids, they got a little cry. Mm if you don't pay attention to it, nah. they, will, they will cry. Nah. But if you pay attention to the cry, it becomes bigger nah. than they want you to save them. <laughs> so for him to give his spirit up, it makes me think, okay, if I was to give my personal, my, my, my body is, you know, this is what Ms. Pastor said, if I gave my body up, my thoughts, my, my individual thinking, and just gave everything to the Lord, and put it in his hands, it's kind of like the Allstate commercial. They state, you're in good hands with well, Allstate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Allstate. 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 Go ahead. That is really all I have. Oh. It's been just a wonderful, wonderful yes, morning. Yes, you can feel the Spirit of God in this place. Oh, hallelujah, 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 oh. Jesus. My name is Diane. Ministry manual, and I'm coming today from John 28. Uh, John 20 in verse John 19 and verse 20. See, I didn't have this written down, so <laughs> okay, so it says, After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished that the scripture might be fulfilled, said it, I thirst. Yes. Go ahead now. Yes, yes. I thirst. Mm -hmm. Go ahead now. Mm -hmm. That was one of the words of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus being on the cross for about six hours or more, mm -hmm. receiving unto himself 
our shame, mm -hmm. uh -huh. our guilt, mm -hmm. and our sins. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes, a lot. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. He was in distress, uh -huh. not just on a physical level, mm -hmm. but on a divine level. Yes, yeah. yeah. He was in distress. Mm -hmm. Yes. On the cross, he said, I thirst. We understand thirst. A feeling of dehydration yes, yeah. that needs to be quenched. Yes, yes. We understand that. Yes. You see, where there is water, there is life. Amen. Amen. You see, water symbolizes life. Yes. Some say this first referred to the prophecy by David in Psalms 22 and 15. Jesus said, in my thirst, they give me vinegar to drink. Yes. All prophecies were fulfilled. Yes, 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 yes. On the cross, his shoulders arched, mm. wow. his mouth patched. Mm. Yes. Mm. He committed himself to his father yes. Yes. to be a sacrifice yes. for us. Yes. Mm. Amen. Yes. First, yes. Mm. Jesus was not referring to drinking water. Mm. No, he was not. Because he is the living water. Yes, 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 yes. He was referring to his life as he talked to his father yeah. and said, I thirst. Meaning, as water is life, he was giving his life for the world. He was giving his life on that cross for the world in agony. He said, my God, my God, yes. why hast thou forsaken me? Yes. He was in agony. Yes. Yes. Psalm 69 and 21 says, in my thirst, they give me vinegar to drink. Yes. <laughs> they, they did not understand thirst. Mm. They did not understand thirst. Mm. Go ahead now. Mm. He thirsts for us. Yes. 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 He Verse for us. Yeah. Amen. Yes. 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 You know the story about the woman in the well. Jesus said, Whosoever drink of this water yes. I give them yes. will never thirst again. Will never thirst again. Isaiah 41 and 17 says, when the poor and the needy mm -hmm. seek water, yes. and there was none, yes. Go ahead now. Mm -hmm. and their tongue mm -hmm. failed for thirst, yes. yeah. I, the Lord, uh -huh. Uh -huh. will hear them. Yes. 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 I, the Lord of Israel, uh -huh. Uh -huh. will not forsake yes. them yes. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. when they thirst for me. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is love.
his shoulders arch. Mm. He was using his back muscles mm. yes. to support his ability to breathe. Mm. Yes. You know what that feels like? Mm. We don't know what that feels like. Mm. We have no clue what that feels like. Mm. But if you had back injury, you might have a slight idea mm. what it feels like mm. when you want to breathe and that pain hits you. Mm. Go ahead now. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus, mm. he fight to raise himself on the cross yes, yeah. in order to get a short breath. Yes, yeah. mm. And yet, mm. he spoke seven words. Uh -huh. Go ahead now. Uh -huh. yes. Yet, yes. he spoke seven words. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Mm. Somebody said before me that his breath was shallow. Yes, yes. it was. Yes. Yeah. He wasn't talking loudly. He couldn't. Yes. Mm. Because every breath hurt. Yes. Every yes. time he tried to take a breath, it hurt. Yes. Yes. So the words came out. Mm. Yeah. But it was loud. Yes. But they could hear him. Yes. Mm. Yes. They could hear him. Yes. Mm. Jesus, he spoke seven words before he gave up the ghost. Mm. Yeah. Before he gave up mm. his life. Mm. One of those words was, I thirst. Go ahead. What are you thirsting for today? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Are you poor mm. and needy? Ah. Mm. Mm. Are you thirsting for things of this world mm. Mm. that do not satisfy? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead. See, we are living in a dying world. Yes. This yes. world is dying before yes. our very eyes. Yes. Yes. Some of us are blind to it. Yes. Jesus said, they have forsaken me, mm -hmm. the fountain of living water. Yes, yes. I thirst for you. Yes, yes. I love yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. I give you my life. Yes, yes, yes. What more can I do? Yes, 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 yes. Today. What are you thirsting for today? Yes, yes, yeah, go ahead. Yes, 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 what are you thirsting for today? Yes, yes. Mm. My God. Yeah. Yes, yes. Only the things of God mm. satisfies. Yes, yes. Only the things of God satisfies. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Everything else is temporal. Temporal. Yes, yes. Everything else will pass away. Amen. Yes. yes. For real. Oh, yes. Don't put your trust mm. in earthly treasures. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Don't do it. Yes. Yes. I want to just leave you with this. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. All who are thirsty mm. are invited to drink from the water of life. Yes. All of yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Y
he was also saying, forgive them to the Roman soldiers yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. that was placing him on the cross and yeah. stretching him out and yeah. putting his feet and nailing him. Yeah. 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 <sighs> this might take more, a little bit longer than seven. Take your time. Right Go ahead. The second statement is made to the penitent thief. Mm. Mm. He says, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Yeah. Yeah. Luke 23 and 14. Mm -hmm. yeah. As it was said, mm. three people on crosses, mm. yeah. two on either side of him, both thieves. Mm. Mm. One saying, if you are who you are, mm. take us down. Mm. Uh -huh. well, yeah. I like how everybody say, keep it real. Now that real brother say, hey, check this out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth. We deserve everything we get. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is an innocent man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We know we was in the hood. Yeah, that's we it. We were standing on the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know we was in the hood. We were serving them that came up talking about, yo, you got what I need? Yeah, I got it, buddy. Right. Yeah. This man did nothing wrong. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 So Jesus looked at him and said, my son, mm. today, mm. you'll be with me in paradise. Yes, yes. yes. Today, yes. we can be with Jesus in paradise. Yeah. Ain't it? Hold on now, hold on now, hold on now. Let me go back over here. Right. Mm, mm. He said, the third statement comes while I'm looking at his grief stricken mother. Mm. Not only was she his mother, but she was hurting. Mm. Yes. To see the agony and the pain that her son's going through. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he said, Mother, mm. behold thy son. Mm. He looked over there at John and said, John, behold that mother. John impressed him as his mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's drop on down a little bit more. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm. Mm -hmm. The fourth prize is dressed to God at the ninth hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it comes from Psalms 22. Mm -hmm. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. God has walked with Jesus all of his ministry life. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't stand mm -hmm. to see the sin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why his yeah. back was turned to him while he was on that cross. Yes. 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 But he never really forsook him. No. Uh -huh. But he stayed yes. with him yes. Yes. when Jesus was crying out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eloi, mm -hmm. Eloi. Cancellation mm -hmm. of the mortgage claim of Satan. Mm -hmm. 
and the freeing of man and his dominion from sin and sin. Yeah. It's finished. Yeah. It's finished. No longer does Satan have room over our lives. I'm going to leave that comfort of form so you'll 